Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got Joe, Super Joe, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Magic Brad and Super Joe. <laughs> uh, I, I, lo I love it, Magic Brad. How are you doing? Doing good. Yeah, we're like the, we could, we could fight crime. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I've been told that I need to get a cape uh, and, and that some people are going to bring capes at the next podcast conference that I'm hosting. We can do that. Start a comic book series. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could. <laughs> you could do it. You could do it. Super. So I don't do these very long because people have that commodity of time. There's only 24 hours in a day. So we got to keep it crunched so they can watch all this valuable information and get on with their personal issues. So <laughs> first off, where are you located, Joe? I'm right outside of Philadelphia in South Jersey. I've really? been here it, since I was uh, a little kid. In fact, I, I, I live in the house I grew up in. I, I bought it uh, about 12 years ago. Wow. 10 years ago? I, 11 years ago, something like that. I lived in my house for, for uh, 53 years. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And then my brother's still there. <laughs> so well, there's, the there's something special school. about that, I think. There is. I mean, it's got good memories to it. You know, there's yeah. only a concrete slab about the size of a pancake, but uh, it's still the existing structure. Everything else is kind of mm. new around it. Anyways, you got family and kids in? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my wife, I live here with my wife. I had two kids, a four year old named Ava and a two year old named Dominic. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun. Believe me, with this uh, quarantine stuff, it's it's a challenge. Uh, and we don't even have the homeschooling. I mean, we have a little bit with our four year old, but um, not to the level of other parents are dealing with for sure. All this stuff has been really bizarre for me. I like I mentioned earlier, I'm in the event industry, and I thought, well, events are going to be around forever. And I didn't ever thought of something like this happening because I people want to meet people. That's where we're yeah. society and stuff like that. We're social creatures, and then all of a sudden events are like <laughs> yeah it's gone it it's it's sad uh i mean i'm a, i've been a, an event person since i was little uh growing up in my family's uh, big giant business and uh we we would host a a, a vendor night with like a customer appreciation night would have like a thousand people filter through in like six hours they'd go through all the vendor booths and then go to the um the free buffet and the open bar and you know exactly. they meet with old friends in the industry and all that uh in the trucking industry that is and okay. yeah and and it was awesome um and i took that and then i turned it into like i want to do land parties i'm a big computer gamer so you know in high school we were doing land parties like every weekend and then that turned into djing that was doing like raves and and conventions and bigger land parties with like 500 plus people where everyone's bringing their computers to the party like it's it's a huge undertaking uh, and then turned all of that passion into a podcasting conference that uh, takes place here outside of Philadelphia every year. Oh, wow. In September. So you took your event planning knowledge and then moved it into creating your own, own event. And see, that's my magic Brad thing came from when I was a little kid. I started doing magic. And then when I graduated ah. high school, I had a job for about three years, got laid off and thought, heck with that, I'm going to be a full-time magician. So that's what I did. And the reason I created an event was so I could attract event planners and book myself. So what yep, you're doing just like is DJing, thing, the raves. Yep, yeah, <laughs> we host our own party. And now you got your podcast thing, so you kind of created a, I'm assuming, a somewhat of a revenue stream with what are you doing? Uh, now? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that was back in twenty. The end of twenty fourteen, I started. I started podcasting at um, the almost the middle in May of twenty fourteen, and started this up in uh, December twenty fourteen. First event was in twenty fifteen, September, and then uh, we just held held one every single year. In fact, we're getting ready because of the fact that we're all quarantined at this point. I was like, you know what? Let's you know, I love bringing people together. I love having you know hosting people and feeding people and all that. Even though I'm not a cook, uh, that's that that's my wife's job. Uh, you know, I, I'm that's not my job i just cannot i do, i've never had to do it i just order pizza and stuff growing up it's open a it's can. actually to, to a detriment um actually so maybe at some point because of this quarantine i may actually start to figure out how to do this cooking thing um <laughs> but you know i yeah so i and i'm blessed to have have my wife be able to be such a great cook like because uh, otherwise we would just be ordering out all the time Oh, um, no, she's downstairs, but she, she knows, like, I, I you know, I, I absolutely appreciate everything that she does. So, um, so yeah, so we're, we're, I was like, you know what, let's host a, a virtual conference. We'll do it. This was on back on Thursday. Today's Monday. And I was like, you know what, you have some speaker submissions till Sunday night. 
and then uh, we'll host this thing next Saturday. So this upcoming Saturday, March 28th, um, I don't know the times yet because it may like we have like almost 50 submissions um, and I want to include everybody in it. So I'm, I'm like, how do I do this? Where like maybe we start at like 6 a.m. because we have people that are in London and Australia and other oh. parts of the world that are applied to speak. So time is kind of a non factor as long as I push them into times that make sense for their time zone. Sure. Um, we're doing it based on Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So uh so yeah, so we'll like we have topics ranging um, from podcasting to branding to LinkedIn, everything, social media, like email marketing. There's there's just a, a ton of great people that are are signing up to to speak, and it's totally free. This whole thing uh, is put together. It's free. We have uh, sponsorships available, but um, we're gonna we're gonna stream it in the Facebook group. So to join, you don't even have to give me your email address. Just join the Indie Pod. Uh, indie podcasters group, which is you can go to indiepodcon.com slash group and join the group. And then on Saturday, there'll be a live stream at whatever time. I'm still working on the schedule. I, literally before we get done this and right after we get done this call. If, if you'll email me those links, I'll put those in the stuff that I put out because I process this really, really fast and I'll get it up to YouTube and then I'll embed those YouTubes on some blog posts. And I'll that would be awesome. Thank you so much. So this ah. whole virus thing, I guess it's kind of good that not good, but it's made people go, you know what? I need to get on video. I need to start communicating online because I mean, it's cool that you can talk to people all over the world. Time zones don't matter either. You just wake up and do it. Yeah. I've been, I've been experiencing that since, since, you know, May, 2014. So I left my family's business. Um, it was a hundred million dollar like conglomerate of five businesses, uh, in 24, April, 2014. And, uh, so my, you know, about a month later, I started the podcast up dreamers podcast and, uh, you know, the, the people of the world became my office, you know, they became my office mates, my coworkers. And, uh, it's just been, it's been so, uh, you know, for me, this is just normal. Like this is how I've communicated for the last six years, uh, going on get close to six years. So, you know, for, for now, like, you know, all the Logitech webcams are sold out everywhere. I, I'm fortunate that I have a couple of them that I've bought over the years when they were on sale just for like, just in case and, and things of that nature. But, you know, it's, it, it, you know, for a lot of people, this is different. This isn't what the normal, normal, normalcy is. And if you watch like, even like CNN or I, I'm guessing Fox news, I haven't really turned that on, but uh, the, you know, they're all doing these at home, like broadcasts, yeah. uh, you know, with, with their guests because people aren't traveling to their studios anymore. Um, and well, they, you know, and they don't even have like the fancy backgrounds. They're just like, cause they're not a studio at all. It's kind of fascinating that the bandwidth hasn't really had a crash. Yeah. Um, well, there, there's definitely so a lot of behind the scenes things going on for that. I mean, being a tech person, I, I grew, you know, one of the things I grew up being was the IT director for my family's business. Um, and there's definitely a lot of things going on behind the scenes, including of what I've read, uh, like in, in, uh, Europe, they, Netflix had turned down the quality, uh, to 480p from like 1080 or even 4k. Well, they're uh, adjusting it. Yeah. So they're adjusting the, the quality of the video. So it's like, it's just less wow. of a hat, a hat, like a, you know, overhead on the network, uh, to handle it for that many people all staying at home, all streaming at the same time. And I mean, fortunately, knock on wood, I haven't had that experience of, of network issues though. I do live in a neighborhood of majority of them are retirees. So, um, they're not using the internet a whole heck of a lot themselves anyway. Well, I just use my phone a lot too. I'll just, uh, you know, on mm -hmm. Verizon and just, if you just got a connection, you can do stuff. It's kind of fascinating. Is, is that yeah. uh, basically what you're offering people then is get to, for people that are interested in learning how to podcast and get educated on about that and the whole businessy element of things? Yeah. I mean, there's people that are going to be talking about sponsorships. There's people that are going to be talking about how to create like a top 50 podcast. Cause we have, we have some pretty, um, very high powerful people that are going to be speaking at this event. Joe Rogan? Uh, uh, I asked, I emailed him. I haven't heard back from him. Well, I, I will find a way to make a time. time I'll rattle his cage a little bit. Uh, you know, well, he's probably got a lot of time on his hand. So yeah. You know, I mean, to, to come and speak for 20 minutes and, and inspire a whole bunch of, uh, you know, of, uh, cost them nothing. You just have to have internet access, access, right? Yeah. 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 It doesn't cost. No, nah, I wouldn't, no. it's not charge anybody. Let's use except, those keywords. You know, Joe Rogan. 
Yes, Joe Rogan. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, who knows? It would be cool. Uh, there's some other people I want to sp- reach out to, but at this point, like, we have like 50 submissions uh, from just like four days of putting it out there. So, um, which is which doesn't sound like a lot, but when everybody gets about 20 minutes uh, and you add two or three minutes to each oh, yeah. and one to get the and to get to between, and then I'm hosting the whole thing. So, like, if if I'm trying to figure out like. Do I start it at like six o'clock in the morning and then I can be done before midnight or do, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm really not sure. There you go. Because I'd, I'd rather wake up early and, and, and get it going that rather than staying up to like one or two o'clock in the morning, because that's just going to mess my next day up, you know? So do, you, so, do you remember the platform Blab? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, uh, I have a lot of friends actually that I met because of Blab and right. became I, better friends because of Blab. like that out there? you know anything uh yeah i think um there is one that's like the but is it squad it's not squad cast is it um no there and i talked with the guy who the creator of it like a few months back on the i just phone. thought that was one of the neatest platforms because people could uh, you don't even know can just come in you can bring them in there and you can have a little talk and i thought it was the coolest thing yeah i forgot oh, i'm 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 feel really bad i'm like blanking okay. on can, the name you can send it to me if you find it yeah 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 i will i will definitely have to take a look and see if i can find the name because i don't think it was squadcast because that's what um, a lot of my friends are using to record i use Streamyard um to I, go I on facebook live too. uh yeah i love Streamyard. absolutely love it um but yeah i can't think of the name there's of there's so many there's be live and blue jean and so is it be maybe is it be i don't think it was be live um yeah i don't think it was dot be dot live it was something i else. saw another they were one trying say, to create like a community around it versus yeah. like streaming to the social but media didn't, platforms. didn't blab basically just interact with with twitter and then you could pull people in from twitter i think uh yeah, yeah I th- well i think it was like you you know, were just like putting a link out and it like so it would go to facebook or twitter or like because i have mine sharing one to the other it was um, cool because you, you got those people that you, but you had to be careful because weirdos come on and do yeah. strange stuff so you kind of have to do one of these things and so on <laughs> yeah that well that's well that's what's happening with zoom because people are just throwing up zoom chat rooms and and because you can have like 100 people in zoom and then people are coming in and like playing you know pornographic videos and things that's just like yeah it's getting weird you got to kind of police that kind of stuff yeah yeah you think they put that little delay in there but that delay is obnoxious as heck you know (laughs) yeah it it, it's i mean that that happens there's people out there that want to troll you know any any way they can um anything that that that's not being policed and and obviously zoom probably wasn't ready for that level of policing because they didn't have that level of people that were going and using zoom let alone like pede- like pedestrians yeah that's the uh, one thing that doesn't happen at a live event once in a while you get someone to stroll in but uh, the, 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 the ticket. <laughs> so your event's yeah. this saturday and how do you how, how do people find out about it <laughs> So people can find out more if they go to indiepodcon.com slash uh, virtual. And uh, there's the link there for the join the group. Um, and we'll uh, the video should be public. So I'll probably post it on the slash virtual page once it's once I get it all together. I'm trying to figure out. I mean, there's other logistics too. Like StreamYard you know, only allows you to record eight hours of video. And that's what the pro account. I don't have a pro account. I have a standard account. So like. I'm reaching out to StreamYard to find out what we could do to make it because like six o'clock to like potentially midnight is not eight hours last time I checked. Um, so we're just, you know, there's a lot of things they're trying to figure out. You'll um, make it happen. You can kind of oh, do I stuff will. on the run. I absolutely will. I mean, I've done live events before where we've done them online um, to celebrate the like anniversaries of my podcast streamers podcast. Uh, I have hosted like house parties and things of that nature. We had like, you know, 50 people come to the house and we're doing minute to win it games and people are like betting whether or not this person can do it. And we were raising money for charity. Uh, it, you know, like, oh, if, if, you know, if Magic Brad completes this minute to win it challenge, then he, I will donate $10. And then like 10 other people are like, I'll donate $10. I'll donate. And then he completes it. And then bam, we just made a hundred dollars. That's one for- of the coolest things about the internet, how versatile it is. I mean, you must've seen the guy that did one red paper clip. 
One, I'm sorry, what, what's one, your plan? One red paperclip. One red paperclip. That what sounds familiar. What he did was he traded a paperclip up. A paperclip for a pen, pen for a notebook, notebook for a iPod. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a house. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and he documented. So the internet is just a fascinating thing. It's a little bit of frustration, too, because sometimes things don't work, but you just kind of deal with it. And that's the way it works. Yeah. Well, Joe, I don't like uh, to do these too long again, so I'm going to kind of crunch this one up, but we can do another one down the road, especially if you yeah. have some kind of niche, like you said, if you want to do one, something in a specific uh, area or a geographic area or a topic or whatever, we can do that. Yeah, I mean, the next live event we're doing is September 24th to the 26th in Phil just outside of Philadelphia in South Jersey. Uh, that'll be for, you know, independent podcasters. And we expect between three to 400 people, assuming that we're able to get past this uh, crisis that we're in right now I by then. I think it'll go away as fast as it came in. I I certainly hope so. Once people I certainly home, hope so. You know, yeah. You got a little cough there. You're okay, aren't you? Um, well, so I was in Disney World. I don't know how much longer you want to make this, but I was in Disney World uh, uh, after PodFest, which, so I left March 6th and I didn't really want to go. Uh, I was kind of nervous about leaving because I was like, you know, if 100 people have it then they don't know for 10, you know, for up to like five to 14 days, like they could spread it to like 10 to 100 people in that time frame without even knowing it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I, you know, so I flew from Philly to Orlando. I was there. My family drove from with my like my mom and my stepdad, my kids, my wife, my sisters. Like they all drove behind me, and they got there Saturday. So I I flew on Friday morning. They drove, got there Saturday, and then we we stayed in Disney. You know, we went to Disney World Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, and there's been at least two cases of people that have passed away, uh, that were in there around the time in which I was, uh, one was a little before I was, but the fact of the matter is people are staying for like a week or two weeks in Disney world. So like you infect somebody, you know, one person comes in on March 2nd, infects people, and then they don't know they have it. And then, well, it, that's, you uh, know, that's it, where you just got to use common sense <coughs> and just not just stay away from people for two or three weeks. That's all you just got to do. That's all we got to right do. now. Right. Yeah. But you know, at the time th that wasn't like you were literally standing elbow to elbow. Yeah, like that's why it has lines. that. That's why it has that curve. And then all of a sudden there's yeah. this awareness and people say, Psh. like I saw you coughing in your elbow Yep. and mm -hmm. I saw an event where they suggested we're going to be safe and do elbow bumps. Well, that's dumb, isn't it? <laughs> coughing. Yeah. Yeah. But you never know. It's, we're learning. It's not, so. Yeah. Well, people, yeah. And that's, and that's really the thing is, is people don't understand that like this, this is a thing that is, it's more complicated than, than just even just that, because like, we still don't know all the data as far as like, you know, some of the yeah. original data was like, Oh, it's airborne, like airborne in the sense that like I could cough into the air and it could hang in the air for up to two days. Like, I don't, I don't know how that, uh, like, I guess like wind currents or, like i don't know well that but can happen it's not like, like i'm sure it can happen somehow like that if it's you know moisture or whatever water drops yes yes yeah, staying in in moisture i yeah i don't know so there's things like that that you just you know and especially at the time like i just didn't know and i'm like well is it worth having two sick kids over that could potentially pass away and they're like oh well you know it's not really affecting little kids and it's like okay yeah i get it but like like my mom, she's over, you know, she's over 50. My stepdad's over 50. Like, and now Bottom like kids. Abstinence. Just stay, stay, <laughs> stay away. Yeah, no, I hear you. And now, so we've got back, uh, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before at like 2 a.m. And the only time we have left is to go get, to get food, uh, for, you know, from the, from the supermarket. That, yeah. And just be careful. Well, yeah, let's, exactly. let's not sign Trying this be... off with that bad news. All right. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's do something a little more positive. It's all good. We're all, we're, we're having fun now in the moment. So to speak. yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, I'm feeling Joe, okay. No, no fevers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to beam this up to the universe. And like I said, if you want to do another one of these, just let me know. Cause that I'm vibing with you. This is kind of fun. Yeah, I would love to. But I mean, business is really my thing. Um, you know, that's what I talk about on my show, Dreamers Podcast. You can get all my stuff. at uh, Just to help you wrap this up here, superjoepardo.com is where you can get all my stuff. I run three separate podcasts, one for podcasters, one for business geeks like me and the two, my two, uh, two co-hosts and uh, Dreamers Podcasts is where business meets life. 
Um, oh, cool. So if you want to get all of that stuff, uh, go to superjoeparlor.com, indiepodcon.com for the conference or virtual conference that's happening in a few days here. And uh, Magic Brad, thank you so much for, le- for letting me come on. So in such a short period of time as well, I really appreciate I'm gonna it. I'm going to get connected with you on all this social media stuff. And then uh, we'll Absolutely. see Absolutely. Sounds okay, good. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.